Welcome to Reading Out Loud, a podcast dedicated to inspiring you with inspirational poems and short stories. My name is Doug Sangster, and I teach English and American Literature at Louisiana Delta Community College. I'll be your host today. Robert Hayden was born August 4, 1913, in Detroit, Michigan. He died February 25, 1980. Hayden was a prolific poet, essayist, and educator. He served as the United States Poet Laureate from 1976 to 1978, and he was the first African-American writer to hold the office. Hayden's poem, Monet's Water Lilies, is one of his best, and it's one of my favorites. It speaks to the value of beautiful art, especially during stressful times of war and civil unrest. The narrator of the poem escapes the anxiety of everyday life to stand in front of Monet's famous painting, Water Lilies. As I read the lines from the poem, I want you to think with your heart, and I want you to feel with your mind. Listen for words that evoke images of civil rights protest in Alabama and the bloody war in Vietnam. And then listen for words that calm and comfort the unsettled soul the narrator of this poem. Monet's Water Lilies by Robert Hayden Today, as the news from Selma and Saigon poisons the air like fallout, I come again to see the serene great picture that I love. Here, space and time exist in light. The eye, like the eye of faith, believes the scene the known, dissolve in iridescence, become elusive flesh of light that was not, was, forever is. O light beheld as through refracting tears, here is the aura of that world each of us has lost. Here is the shadow of its joy. As you listen to those lines, did you hear what the light did to the narrator? The light that refracted from Monet's painting was like a voice in a dream. It called to him, like a light calls a moth out of the darkness. He comes to stand in the presence of this beautiful painting. And then notice what happens when the narrator is standing in front of Monet's painting. The light carries him to another world where he's comforted. Sometimes beautiful art does that, doesn't it? Whether it's a poem or a painting or a piece of music, it transports us to another place, another time where Something happens to us. We're settled, we're calmed, and we're restored so that we re-enter our world and we're enabled to face the responsibilities that we have before us. I'm going to read the poem one more time. You listen. Today is the news from Selma and Saigon poisons the air like fallout. I come again to see the serene great picture that I love. Here space and time exist in light. The eye like the eye of faith believes. The seen, the known dissolve in iridescence, become elusive flesh of light that was not, was, forever is. O light beheld as through refracting tears, here is the aura of that world each of us has lost. Here is the shadow of its joy. 
Thank you for joining us in this, our pilot episode of Reading Out Loud. My name's Doug Sangster, and I've been your host.